and pour your healing oil. In the name of Jesus, I decree that today is your receiving day in Jesus' name. Satan, you are a liar. And Lord, we stand from a platform of boldness today decreeing that that which we believe, it shall come to pass in Jesus' holy name. Do it, Lord, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. 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 name. Raise your hands in the name of Jesus. Shake it at a boshataya. Rokon at a boshande. God said he's completing the healing that he promised you. God's given you a word, but he's tying up the loose ends today. God said it's a done deal in Jesus' name. Shokoto to go In the name of Jesus. Father, I decree right now that this body shall be healed. Satan, you are a liar. Lord, just as Jesus cursed the fig tree. God, we decree that this body will come in line with the word in Jesus. Holy name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody shout it with me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Walk in Jesus' name. Walk in Jesus' name. Walk in Jesus' name. Walk in Jesus' name. Step of faith. Step of faith. I got you. I've got you. I've got you. Thank you. All Thank you, you got is walk in faith. Thank you, Lord. Don't you I worry about falling. The stripes of Jesus. You, you just walk in faith. I, I got you. you. He's got, got him, baby. I've got you. Hallelujah. I've got you. All you gotta do is walk in faith. I've got you. I've got you. Look at you. Stand up and look at me. Tired? Tired? Can you walk some more? Cut a rest. I've got you. All you got to do is walk. Walk, Brother walk in faith. Is walking. Brother Walker is walking. He's walking. He's walking. He's I got you. You just walk. Jesus name. I've got you. You just walking. walk. Don't you worry about oh, falling. I've got walking, you. He's walking. He's walking. Shut up, up. I think he's moving quick. Oh, yes, he is. Get those feet, Lord. I've got you. I got you. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Let's walk some more. I've got you. Stand up and look at me. Say, I'm healed in Jesus. I'm healed in Jesus. Say it again. I'm healed in Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah,
glory. Time out for me one second. I'm a teacher, y'all. You got to take moments of every opportunity as a teaching moment. Teaching moment. How long have you been like that? Uh, I don't know, about three or four years or so. Three or four years. How many remember what I told you that Jesus always did, no matter what the situation? How, what did he do? Every time. He always responded. With what? Why did he do that? Faith comes by hearing, but it's released by what you speak. There's two things. How many know I love these people? And I would never hurt them for anything in the world. But the first thing that he told me was I can't. The first thing that he told me was I can. I'm not, and I hate to have to use this as a teaching moment. That's not a statement of faith. No, it's not. And until we can stand from a statement of faith, the miraculous cannot happen. Once we got past that moment, we started walking and we started walking quicker. I said, I want you to turn around. And he said, I can't. I can't lift my leg. We have to respond from a statement or a platform of faith every time. Or else faith will never be released into the atmosphere. Now, I don't say all that to pick on him. I say that to say we have to retrain and renew our mind every day that we're going to live faith, that we're going to talk faith, and that we're going to walk faith in Jesus' name. So that's why I told him, say, I'm healed in Jesus' name. I'm healed in Jesus' name. One more time. I'm healed in Jesus. Third time. I'm healed in You know what he's doing? He's talking from a platform of faith. And when you talk from a platform of faith, miracles start to open up in the heavenlies. It's like a window, folks. Every time you talk from a position of faith, heaven's gates and heaven's windows open. The moment you make a statement... That's not in faith. You shut the door. That's why we find ourselves in a ping pong match with God and the enemy all the time. But this man's heard the word. He knows what the truth is. He knows that he has a right to healing. When's the last time you took some steps like that without a walker? Uh, how long ago? Like six months. So you, you use it every day? Every day. Well, he didn't use it today. Say, I'm healed. Hallelujah, I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. Hallelujah, I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. See, if the Bible be true, and it is, those words that are coming out of his mouth will connect him, that's his bridge, to the promise that's hey, in the book. Hey, yes, 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 yes. The words that come out of your mouth will be the bridge that connects you to the promise that's in the book. I'll love you. Just say, I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed in Jesus' name. I'm healed in Jesus' name. Now give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Raise your hands, ma'am. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I decree when my hand touches this vessel, my sister, your daughter, that the Holy Ghost and fire will bubble up on the inside of her. God, that you will strengthen her, that you will refresh her, Lord God. God, that you'll renew her mind in Jesus How are you, sir? Good to see you. I'm healed. I think he got the message. You're Jesus. Holy name. The name of Jesus. Walk to me. What are you doing? I'm making a walk from a platform of faith. You got to give God something.
that you've never given him before. Got to give him something to work with. Say, I'm healed in Jesus' name. I'm healed in Jesus' name. I'm healed in Jesus' name. Do you walk with a cane every day? Every day. You're not going to tomorrow. Do you hear me? You're not going to walk tomorrow with that cane. Come on. Come on. Somebody has to stand from a platform of faith and with boldness and believe that God is going to do it. Everybody say, God does not have to have an exit window. He'll do what He promised He'll do in Jesus' name. One more time. You're not going to walk with that cane tomorrow in Jesus' name. Give Him a hand clap of praise. Go sit right there on that pew. How you, Miss Gail? Uh, yes, you are. In the name of Jesus, I decree that everything that the canker worm and the enemy has stolen from you, God's getting ready to pay you back. I said, are you getting ready to have a payday? Spiritually, physically, and financially in Jesus. Somebody help me praise Him. Holy name. I told you the kingdom is like a garden. And that which you have sowed, it's harvest time for Gail Rucker. Every seed, every monetary seed, every act of kindness, every hug that you've given, every handshake, every word of encouragement, all the love, it's getting ready to be bundled right back to you, shipped to your address, FedEx overnight in Jesus. How you doing, ma'am? Say, I'm blessed. I'm healed. I am a child of God. Blessed going in. Blessed going out. I am joyful. I am full of peace. And I am happy in Jesus' name. <sighs> Surrender it all, Ella Sue. God's breaking some change in your shake head at a bow shot In the name of Jesus. The joy that the enemy's tried to steal from your life permanently. God said you're getting your praise back. You're getting your strength back. That garment of heaviness. The Holy Spirit has stripped off you today. That's it right there. In the name of Jesus. There it is. There it is. There it is. Shut it up. Shut up. Jesus' name. It's good to see you. Raise your hands. Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Many would say that you need a miracle physically. But I hear the Lord telling me that you need a miracle spiritually. And it doesn't have anything to do with whether you're living right or not because that's nothing what I'm talking about. You're you're a woman of faith, a godly woman, but some healing needs to take place. Some questions that you have, some answers that you don't feel like you've gotten. But I'm here to tell you, God is still real. He's still alive, and He's still on the throne. He has a plan for your life, and He has healing for the hurt that you carry, most people probably don't, and I don't understand really what, what I'm saying, and these people probably don't either, but you do. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes ma'am. Raise your hands, because today is your day of healing and restoration. 
And as God heals you spiritually, and as God heals the pain that's in your heart, as that spirit comes alive and is positioned with heaven again, God said the physical will come in line. In Jesus. There's your breakthrough right there. That's your breakthrough right there in Jesus' name. I think she got it. I think she got it. How you doing, sir? You believe in miracles. And it's a good thing because God's got one for you. Today's a red letter day on the calendar for you. Which means that not the sweet by and by, not in the future, today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of miracles. And when you woke up this morning, God already had this moment ordained, already put into motion that the miracle has already taken place in Jesus. Oh, oh God. I think he got it. Raise your hands in the name of Jesus. Every prayer, every petition, every desire. God, I decree that you'll show yourself alive. And I would encourage you to live like he is alive. Ask largely of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Standing for living. Well, that works too. Work before. She don't have to be here. Well, I've said it all day. Somebody's got to stand from a uh, stand on a platform of faith and boldness, and I trust that you've done that, or you wouldn't be up here. So then, that entitles us to some stuff, some benefits. If we can stand from that position, then we have a right to some stuff. Eyes, ears have not seen, nor heard, neither into the heart, the things. I think that falls under some things. God's got some stuff, some things for you and your family. If you thought enough to come up here to believe, God's going to think enough not only to hear us, but He's doing it. Even before I lay, because see, there's no significance in me, but there's everything in the Word and the power of God. But thank God He uses vessels like all of us to get the deal done in the earth. In Jesus. That's the Holy Ghost right there. In Jesus' holy name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. I decree that it's done. One of you from a stance, you, you, there ain't no doubt in my mind. Because you're not a Christian who has to wait to see it first. Just as Jesus, when he spoke to the tree, that's when the tree died. God said, this deal's done. The moment that we're standing here together as I'm speaking, this is a done deal in Jesus' holy name. Somebody give her praise. Somebody give him praise. Somebody help her praise. In Jesus' holy name, say, I decree that it's done in Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah. How you doing? You're blessed, aren't you? Statement of faith. Say, I'm healed. I'm happy. I'm full of joy. I'm full of the peace of God. I am blessed in my goings. I am blessed in my comings. When I leave here today, I'll be blessed. When I leave here today, I am healed. When I get home today, my body 
is healed. When I wake up in the morning, I will walk as the healed of the Lord in Jesus' name. By thy decree that this statement, this faith, this platform of boldness shall not return unto you void, but it shall manifest physically in the natural in Jesus' holy name. Everybody shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. I mean, he's glad you come to church today. All you folks that were prayed for, say, I'm healed. Say, I'm healed in Jesus' name. I am the healed of the Lord. I'm blessed in everything that I do. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Say it again. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, shall succeed against me and my home in Jesus' name. In my pathway is life, there is no death. No evil shall befall me. No plague shall come nigh my dwelling. Great is the peace of my children. Come on, say it. Great is the peace of my children. Great is the peace of my grandchildren. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. And amen. Good to see you all today. I appreciate you being here. It's an honor to preach the Word of God. It's even better when you got somebody to preach the Word to. So I thank you all for being here. I trust and know and hope that you have been blessed. Be here next Sunday morning at 1030. Does anybody need a CD of today's service? Anybody at all? One, two, three, four, five. Matthew, if you'll make those, or Harry, or whoever's in the booth. Uh, you can see the guys in the sound booth for your... Um, and it's five dollars. Let me understand. Five bucks is a deal. You can't hurt. John showed me something on his little phone the other day. Daddy, can I buy this game? It was seven ninety nine for a little stinking game you download on your phone. How much greater is a five dollar anointed word from the Lord? Amen. So see the guys in the back, and they'll get you your CD, folks. Listen to me, you're closer to April than you are March the 1st. April is on the horizon. You're f almost four months into 2015. Don't come back here December the 31st without your goals and your prayers and petitions not being met because how many understand the wheel doesn't automatically come to pass? There's stuff we must do in the earth. Amen. Very quickly, um, if, if we can, everybody stand to your feet and, and we'll dismiss in a word of prayer. But will you stretch your hands this way, just towards my dad, our, your pastor, uh, for my friend who's flying out Wednesday. I figure if we pray long enough, God's going to get tired of hearing it and he'll just do it. Amen. Everybody stretch your hands towards Pastor Martin. I want you to pray from a platform of faith and from a platform of boldness. And we're going to believe that that which we are saying out of our mouths is the releasing point of faith so that the miracle